I had one more test to take. And as soon as I walked back in today, the instructor was like, yeah, come on, let's go take your test. And I was like, what the fuck? Wait a second. You know what I'm saying? I'm not ready. And today my first day, so I really wasn't expecting it. Well, not my first day, but it's my first day back since having my surgery. I know my hair look crazy. I ain't get my hair done, nothing. I look crazy. They put us both on the spot. I don't know how much stuff she had to do. I know she had missed a week too. He told us to study together. She don't want to study from the package. She talking about, I ain't got it, I got it. You don't fucking got it. You don't got it. He, we, he asked us to go. We go out there. He choose her to go first. She don't even know where to start. You don't got it. That's the problem. That's why we here now. We're in school because we don't know what we doing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, today I stalled the truck out twice. So I fucked up. Whatever it is, I'm gonna be straight though, man. I think I'm gonna be all right. So make sure y'all stay tuned, man. That's y'all boy, Flute Dog with the vlogs. It's the Word Birds. It's y'all boy, Flute Dog with the vlogs. Man, we back at it with another epic banger, man. If you're new to the channel, I need you to like the video, comment down below, subscribe, hit that all post notification bell, man. We is back at trucking school, dog. It is freezing fucking cold out here. And my crackhead girlfriend was supposed to be here. And I don't know where she is. So I'm fixing to call her. And she gonna have some boo-boo ass excuse. I think I see her. She back there stuck behind the truck. That's you behind that truck? Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. It's fucking freezing, man. Hurry up. Well, tell your, your, your class like that. Nah, they, um, they testing right now, so get off their ass. <laughs> but uh, all right, though. I'll see you. Hurry up. All right. All right. So, yeah, man, we is, um, we is, uh, you know, everybody went and test today. They did pretty good. I'm fucking cold as hell. Um, today, I had one more test to take. And as soon as I walked back in today, the instructor was like, yeah, come on, let's go take your test. And I was like, what the fuck? Wait a second. You know what I'm saying? I'm not ready. I ain't been studying at home and shit. So um, uh, I, I kind of ain't gonna say I played myself, but you know, I had the surgery on my um, teeth, you know, so I definitely wasn't, um, definitely wasn't doing no studying and shit at home. I just been chilling, but, uh, hell, one of them got a nice sounding truck, but this the truck I'm looking for. <laughs> it's fucking freezing. So, uh, we finna get ready and get it on. I'm, uh, we got a little run to make so yeah it's fucking freezing oh, how you damn. doing <laughs> <laughs> how you doing crazy tales of my step doula knocked out uh, oh man here she go so i'm finna talk with bae for a few seconds man i'm gonna holler at y'all um in a split, man, when we get up out of here. Let me see what she talking about. Yeah, fam, we back. So, definitely got to, um, definitely got to get my study on, man. They trying to put me on the spot today. I told them, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not ready for this. I'm just not even ready for this. So, um, he told me, I told him, man, can I study a little bit and come back tomorrow? Can we try again? We went outside. I tried to go over this stuff as much as I could. And I had some of it down packed, but I damn sure didn't have everything. Super highly rusty. Still got a long, long way to go on that. But this is the one section that I didn't look over yet. Didn't study for it yet. And today my first day, so I really wasn't expecting it. Well, not my first day, but it's my first day back since having my surgery. I know my hair look crazy. I ain't get my hair done, nothing. I look crazy. But, uh, yeah, I ain't studied nothing, so I wasn't expecting them to uh, to put me on the spot like that, but he snagged me and uh, another one of the 
young ladies I had started with. You know, so. I'm doing Hold on, let me holler at y'all in a second. Yeah, so, yeah, they wanted me to do, you know, everything. They put me in the girl, one of the girls I had started with. Um, they put us both on the spot. I don't know how much stuff she had to do. I know she had missed a week, too. But I don't know like how far along she is in her testing and stuff, but they said that she had to get some stuff together too. And she talked about she don't want to study from the packet and he told us to study together. She don't want to study from the packet. She talking about, I ain't got it, I got it. You don't fucking got it. You don't got it. He, he asked us to go. We go out there. He choose her to go first. She don't even know where to start. You know what I'm saying? So he tell her like, I tell him like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of rusty too. And he was like, y'all just go study together. And then I was like, but I'm not this rusty though. Let me try. So I go to do it. I'm get, I get like halfway through it. And then I get to the part where I'm like hung up at. It's like all of the suspension stuff. And uh, he was like, yeah, y'all need to study. And he just went over it with us and told us everything. And then uh, after he was done telling us that he was like, y'all wait out here and study. And I'm trying to study with her, but she trying to tell me, no, oh, I ain't got it. I got it. You don't got it. That's the problem. That's why we here now. We're in school because we don't know what we doing. You know what I'm saying? And like the week before, I just missed this last past week, the week before that. I was at school and I think she missed the week before that or some shit. So she missed the whole week. Then I just missed the whole week. So we both ashy. You know what I'm saying? We both rusty. We both ain't as sharp as we could necessarily be. We still got some ways to go. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the thing. Like when you in a learning position, don't make it seem like you know it all. Even if you do know it all, you know, you could try to express to them what you do know. But if they trying to correct you, just let them correct you, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's stuff that you just don't know. And that's just what was going on, man. Just trying to get everything situated because, you know. So tomorrow, I think we, like, two instructors got fired or something. So they under new management. I don't know what the fuck just happened this last past week. Um. Did I tell you about that that one instructor who was kind of picking on me and shit? The lead instructor, like, oh, he think he knows it and shit like that. They fired his ass. Really? Talking all that joking? shit. Talking so all that shit. Yep, so they get rid of shit up there. They not playing no games. And uh, they had another dude that had all of the, he had like recorded videos and had them on YouTube. So we could study him from home. Mm -hmm. They got rid of his ass too and deleted right. all his YouTube videos. Okay. Yep. Why? So we can't even study that shit. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Shit, I left for one week and came back. It's all it's, yeah. new motherfuckers in that bitch. New students, new instructors, all kind of shit. That's why they ain't got no staff. Yeah, I'm damn. So I definitely gotta be on it. But he told me what I thought though. He said you you said you you know, you got about two more weeks left. You know, you're going to get through this week. You're going to get through next week. And then maybe like the week after that, we're going to start trying to get you together for testing and shit. Okay. And that's about what I needed anyways. Yeah, about two more weeks. I'm pretty solid, I think. Uh, today, I stalled the truck out twice. So I fucked up. Like, like so the, the um, truck is a manual. So in order to dry the truck, you got to let out the clutch and dry the truck. And when I was let, like, if you let out the clutch too fast um, to get the truck going, then the, the, the truck would turn off. So that's what I did. I, I had accidentally let the clutch out too fast. It was a brand new truck they got. So it drive differently from all the other trucks I had been in. So I let the clutch out a little too fast. I started it out. And uh, the instructor that I was with, she was like, where do you think you going wrong at? Tell me so I could so I could help you. Like, what's, what you think is your problem? And I'm telling her, like, I ain't even going to lie to you. I'm really like a strong driver. I know I got it. 
I just haven't drove in a week, so I'm rusty. I gotta kind of feel this truck out and see, you know what I'm saying, how it is. So after I started the first time, turned it back on, started again, turned it back on. And then I, I noticed like, cause basically the pedal is like a, it's like a gas pedal. It's another pedal down there. Mm -hmm. So you gotta let out slow on that bitch to let the car, the truck start rolling forward. Mm -hmm. If you let it out too fast, it'll cut off. Damn. Some of them it's like, it'll be all the way up and then it'll start rolling. Some of them, as soon as you start letting off, it'll start rolling. So you gotta find that point, they call it the rumble point, wherever it start moving and shit, right? So I'm trying to figure out where the rumble is on this truck. And I'm coming, if you come up off this motherfucker too quick, it's gonna cut off. So I'm like, damn. So once I figured it out, I started driving that bitch, I'm shifting. I'm normally real rusty on my downshifts, but I'm shifting good, smooth as hell, no grinding. And uh, when I was done driving, I had asked her, I'm like, you know, I know I started off rough, don't get me wrong, but do you think I improved over my driving span? And she was like, oh yeah, you caught it, you caught it. So that, that made me feel good, but I know I was just rusty as hell today. I ain't gonna lie, super rusty. Gotta get back in the swing of things. You know, I was talking all that shit. Last time they was telling me I was a veteran student cause I was coming strong, but mm -hmm. I was asking you today. Nah, not today. We, don't, we all have our days. Yeah, I know. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping at all. Tomorrow, I'm back down. Tomorrow, I'm back down. So, that's what's going on, man, with y'all boy through Dog of the Vlogs, man. I hope y'all uh, appreciate and enjoying the um, trucking content, man. There's trucks everywhere. Trucks over there. Trucks over here. Trucks up there. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned, man. Y'all boy from Dog with the Vlog is going to be a CDL holder in no time, man. I got about two more weeks left and some change. Then I can start testing. Um, some dudes was in there today. They tested and did like they in cab skills and shit like that. Now they got to go do the, the road test. And they told them they could probably test in like two weeks. Mm -hmm. So that shit is like long as hell. They be pushing people out. But whatever it is, I'm going to be straight though, man. I think I'm going to be all right. So. Make sure y'all stay tuned, man. That's y'all boy, Blue Dog, with the vlogs. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like the video, comment down below, subscribe. Hit that all post notification bell so you're notified when your boy, Blue Dog, with the vlogs, drop a vlog. Because I may drop it at 8 in the morning, at 10 in the morning, at 10 at night. But if you notified and got your all post notification bell on, you will see it. You will get it, man. So, with that being said, I'll holler at y'all on the next vlog, man. Love and peace.